All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So this morning, I wanted to do a real quick video about a company that I uh, ran into here locally in the Pennsylvania area called Mischief Machine. It's a young man named Joseph, and he introduced me to some products that he has come out with that I thought were I would like to share with you. One of my best things is I like to take small companies, help them out, help them grow as best we can. And I tell you what, I've been nothing but impressed with his product. Now, the cool thing is he has uh, several CNC machines that he owns as well as uh, a great design mind. So anyway, let's talk about a couple of things. Mischief Machine, located right here in uh, Pennsylvania, Central PA. I'll put the website down below. But he makes a couple of really cool things that he has designed himself using his knowledge of the industry and the need. Uh, so basically, here we go. We've got a couple of items right here. This first item, up for bid, <laughs> is the, uh, what is this, the Streamlight Mini or something like that. But, uh, you know, you got to think about it. How often at times do you want just a light to be on your handguard, but you don't want a big old honking uh, Streamlight or a big old uh, Surefire. So here's the Mini. So uh, to show an example of it, I have this guy right here. I always use the uh, Geisley handguards for my demonstrations simply because they I know that their specs are just up to key. And you can see I have scratched the living daylights out of this thing. I might have to paint this guy when it comes to reality. But the cool thing is, you got this mini, it is an M-lock, and these things fit to a T. I'm going to show you this. Now, I like to put, let's just say, let's put it right here, or maybe let's just stick it right there. All you do is put it in there, go ahead and take this guy, and each one of the screws has a dab of Loctite on it. And I will tell you this right now, man, I absolutely love the mini. Check that out. Put that on your handguard. I think that's actually on the bottom, but whatever. So you can see how it works out like that. Let's go ahead and put that back where it's supposed to be. <laughs> there we go. Just a half of a turn will do you. And these are fun videos, guys. This is something that I'm not trying to be too serious about. The Mischief Machine, Joseph is the gentleman's name. I'm gonna put the website down below so you can see it. Let's say handguard like that. There we go. Let's go ahead and stick it up here. I like M-Lock. I used to not because I thought key mod was the way to go, but the M-Lock is the real deal. The nice thing is, is you don't have anything that's Chinese crap that's sitting out there that you have to work and try to fidget with to get to fit properly. So there you go. You've got a perfect little situation where you've got your flashlight. Now, let's talk about another thing, a barrier stop. Look at this guy. Isn't that cool? That's ingenious. Nice little rib. For your pleasure on the front, red for the back for, well, somebody else's pleasure, whatever. But you can put this up here, just like this. I haven't, I have not adjusted this guy. Let's go ahead and back that screw off a little bit. There we go. Drop it in. Boom, you're done. I'm going to take a barrier stop and put it back a little bit like that. But I like the design. Also, in this design, is a QD attachment point right there. How about that? I mean, here's here's the cool thing. You got a guy who's a shooter who decided he was an engineer, or still is an engineer, and has decided to go ahead and start making his own equipment. And I love the way he does that. And that is actually on the side. So a couple other things. He's got these thumb stops or rest. Uh, I want you to notice, well, there's this cool ass logo. One is straight. And these are all uh, 7075 or uh, billet aluminum, but this one is angled. Look at that, the way he's angled. And I like that because if I am putting my handguard and I've got this guy right here, I know that I'm going to position this guy right here to where all this works. You see how that works? That's a beautiful thing. So let's go ahead and put that guy on there. Isn't that neat? All right, come on. Get you. Uh. 
All right, there we go. Perfect. Go ahead and get these things twisted up. As you can see, but the angle of that finger stop right there works perfectly. And then you put your uh, barrier stop or you can adjust this. It depends on what you want. But again, here is the straight finger stop. Finger stop, stop. Put that on. Boom. But you can see, look at how cool that is. You got a straight angled. The best part about this, because he's a one man operation, the cost is pretty neat. Uh, like, like $19, $25 for this thing, $25 bucks for this, $24.99. But go to the website and check it out. He's also working on the prototype for the 365 XL, uh, which I may end up even having to go and purchase one of those things just to have one of his uh, grip modules. But with that being said, guys, look at that thing. Isn't that cool? That's a beautiful piece of work right there. I like that. Really nice. And the QD attachment point right there is just exceptional because you can bring your sling up, boom, just like that, or you've got your barrier stop. You can do whatever you want. Anyway, help a young man out. Joseph, there you go, brother. All right, Mischief Machine, I'm going to put the website down below. You guys go over there and check him out. It's Coda Boy 32 If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. That's some cool stuff right there, man. I'm telling you what. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.